don't speak Hebrew. <laughs> uh, uh, and where can we go to learn the original language? Why do you say that many people don't speak Hebrew? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, uh, because we know the he Hebrew as being what the language, we, we, what we thought. This is what we no, thought. Basically. Remember I said to you yeah. that yeah. it is true getting to know my tradition yes. that I realized I was an Israelite because I listened to the words they used. Right. And the words agree with the Hebrew words. Mm -hmm. Take for instance in um, uh, the name David mm -hmm. is the English translation yeah. of the Hebrew name That's right. of King David. Mm -hmm. Now in um, in the the Jews who use a, a European accent, right. they they pronounce it in Hebrew as Davi. Mm -hmm. Davi. That's it. Okay. In our language, every language, yeah. which is ever means Hebrew, mm -hmm. yeah. we say Davi. Okay. So you see, so you said we don't speak Hebrew. That as we call the name Hebrew, and we call David Davi. Okay. Davi in our language means the child. Okay, and he was the youngest. Yeah. And David was the youngest. <laughs> right, right. Do you see? And remember I said uh, we knew the name of God right. as Yahweh. Yeah. Now, the Hebrew name of God is, as the Bible scholars are discovering, is Yahweh or Yahweh. Mm -hmm. Do you see? So, those, there's it already. We are speaking, the Yahweh people in West Africa, mm -hmm. this is the names we use. Then, um, Another example I'll give you is the word uh, prophet. Yes. Mm -hmm. Prophet in the Hebrew language, the, Euro the Jews with the European accent will say Navi. Mm -hmm. We say Novi. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Defense. You say okay. Novi. Right, yes. Do you see? Mm -hmm. um, you, there are names like uh, Obadiah. Mm -hmm. You see, the proper Hebrew pronunciation is over there. Okay. Now, to use over there in a language, in my ever language, I can say over the nomwa, over the over the mm -hmm. Over the can mean a lot of things. It mm -hmm. can mean has the person been buried yet, or has the woman been married. I'm speaking ever from West Africa. Okay. So, and that's the prophet's name that we say Obadia in uh, Obadiah or whatever yeah. in uh, in uh, in English. But when I'm speaking uh, my ever language, I'm saying um, Ovadia, which is the proper pronunciation in Hebrew. Mm -hmm. Another name is um, like the prophet Nehemiah. Nehemiah that, yes, the, yes, that's right. the proper Hebrew pronunciation is Nehemiah. 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 And that's our so language again. Nehemiah. Ne Nehemiah. Another example is... It's actually a Habak beautiful name, isn't it? Yeah. Another lang example yeah. is uh, le, 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 uh, the prophet Habakkuk. You see, yeah. the proper Hebrew pronunciation is Havaku. Do you see? And again, I can make a sentence out of it in every. I that will say Havaku. Havaku okay. means if you do that, you will die. Okay, I don't like that one. <laughs> no, 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 I'm, I, no, but I'm just saying that I'm, I'm speaking yes, I know, I know, I know, yeah. I'm, to show you that when you say the Evers don't speak Hebrew, yeah. I'm taking the prophet's names because yeah. I know you will not be able to speak the other Hebrew. Yeah. The ones you can identify is, is what I'm using, which is the names of the prophets mm -hmm. and showing that they are similar to the language we use in Africa. Yeah. So say Avaku or... I, I can in the Angola language we will say avaku avaku meaning that if you do that you may die. Mm -hmm. Do you see? Mm -hmm. But it doesn't necessarily follow that. That's how that name interprets because these are dialects. Mm -hmm. The Hebrews are different dialects. Mm -hmm. But in mm -hmm. our dialect we do you use words like that avaku. We use Zephaniah. We the proper pronunciation is Sefanya. Sefania. Mm -hmm. Sefania. Okay. Now, that's, I'm speaking as an ever now. If any ever is listening to this and I say Sefania, they will be shocked. Mm -hmm. Do you see? Yeah. Because they are hearing ever ways. But that's how you pronounce Zephania mm -hmm. in Hebrew. So what other country that speaks the Hebrew? I know Africa is quite a big place. Mm -hmm. any, any other, like Nigeria or Zimbabwe or 
you know. Um, Okay, um, the, like I mentioned, the Hebrew language is divided into dialects. Mm -hmm. In uh, in West Africa, the Evers are in dialects, but we the the Hebrew Bible was written by the Levites mm -hmm. in their dialect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So most of the words I recognize now, mm -hmm. I recognize because I am from the Levite. I have the Levite background. Okay which is my mother's background. So when I hear words like this, it's language I speak. Okay. This is what I'm saying. And when I got to do my research, the first thing that blew me, because I had to learn how to speak Hebrew, mm -hmm. and the first thing that horrified me was this. this the, I'm reading Hebrew words, yeah. and it's the same words we use. Mm. No. So I, the answer to your question, that's why when you said we don't speak Hebrew, that's why I laughed and asked you, <laughs> who told you we don't speak that's Hebrew? Right. We speak Hebrew. And that, that's how important it is that we need you to teach us back again yes. our, 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 yes. our language yes. and our culture. We'll get there. Yeah, so <laughs> how important um, do you think the, to know the true name? God's you, name? Yeah. Um, God's name is part of the culture of the uh, Hebrews. Mm -hmm. It's part of their tradition. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, the book of Chronicles says the name of God he gave to the Israelites. Right. So the name of God is Yahweh, and the Israelites are called Ever. Mm -hmm. Do you see? If you do so it. So, as the scripture says, the, my people who are called by my name. Yes. So the Israelites are called Ever. Mm -hmm. Even though it sounds an ethnic African name, that mm -hmm. is the true name of the Israelites. Right. Anybody Ever. out there, you can check anywhere with any Bible scholar. The true name of the Israelites is Ever, not Hebrew. Mm -hmm. So when you hear people saying we are Hebrew Israelites and blah blah blah, no, 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 no. So no. we're Ever. Let's you are let's, Ever. Let's do the pronunciation properly. We are what? Ever. 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 Don't worry. We are. We no, no, no. I don't mind because we like to get the name right. Say it's hey. Ever. <laughs> Ever. 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 And it ties in exactly with what scripture says that yes. the Israelites are named after God. Right. And God's name is Yahweh. Yeah. And the people are called Ever. Ever. You see, it sounds oh, the same. Yes. Ever. Right. The full name is Everview. Everview means children of Yahweh. Mm. Um. We say Everview, meaning children of Yahweh. Just as the Bible said. So how did we lose the name? How did we? Lose we did. We never lost it. We did. We did it when we were slaves. <laughs> no, no, no. Come on. You, you. The, the the Bible said the Israelites will be scattered around the world. Right. I really will ask you'd move away from this thing that oh we were slaves. We were all slaves from the time we were taken. The the Assyrians came in. The Babylonians came in. I mean. Our, Africans have to do things to survive. Yes. Africans have to put tribal terrible marks on their faces. Mm. To, so because there was a time when the Arabs were, were erading us and capturing our women to sell into slavery. Mm. They had to mark their faces and make their women as ugly as possible. Oh. So people leave them alone. You have Africans putting some nasty thing in their mouth mm. and looking as ugly as possible. Mm -hmm. They were doing all these things but to why? protect themselves. So. But it's not only slavery. We've been suffering for 3,000 years. I know. But when you focus on slavery, you are ignoring all the suffering. I, I know, but like I say, in Deuteronomy, I always get yeah, it wrong. Yeah, don't worry. It's like 28, and it talks about, y'all said that we will be, um, you know, worshipping mighty gods like stone and everything. Because yeah, of, but let me stop you there. Yeah. Where is that happening? Where it's happening in, in it's not happening in the West. It's most happening in Africa. In Africa. Yeah, most in Africa. So if the is the African who will use those words to mm. say his, I explain this to people all the time <laughs> that a Black American or a Caribbean cannot use Deuteronomy twenty eight to prove he's a Hebrew. Mm. To prove you're a Hebrew, you go back to Africa, because all those things in Deuteronomy are happening to the Africans. There's the bulk of the. Israelites are in Africa. There's over nearly 300, 500 million of them over there. And when you look on the news and you see all the suffering, you are looking at the Israelites, the and Hebrews. And also over here suffering. as well, isn't it? Because the curses, right? They said that we um, got the most illness. We're ill stricken people. Because we are yeah. one people. Yes. We are one people. 
But the problem is some uh, because we don't know who we are. People, yes. we separate ourselves. Like you mm -hmm. say, we suffer slavery. And I just went there and said to you, no, no, no. We also suffer. It. <laughs> you see, you, that's your suffering. God didn't put all the suffering he in one it, basket. I know. He put, he, it, he put this it. suffering yeah. on that person. That suffering on that person. That suffering. So yeah. your suffering maybe. Okay, your ancestors went through that, which were mm. my direct relatives. Mm. Okay, so, but you are still suffering. I'm not mm. moving away from that. Right. Mm -hmm. Because I live here and I see all the shocking things blacks are doing to blacks. Mm -hmm. And it is, mm -hmm. it's, 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 it's very, very sad in it. Right. Okay, and then when you go to Africa, you see the suffering in another way. Mm -hmm. Another way. So we are all suffering. But what we need to do now is to now recognize that we are the ever, a.k.a. the Hebrews, mm -hmm. and start to come together as mm -hmm. one and work towards our salvation. Yeah, but